franchise, baby. Yeah. Well, for me, I think the... When you think about the first Predator movie, there is this big boogeyman. Yeah. And then you have this group of badasses. And then there's the battle with the boogeyman and the badasses. Now, in the second Predator movie, you have a similar situation. There's the boogeyman again, and then you have another group of badasses. And the problem, I think... Now, hold on. And then you have the Predators movie. Same. Uh, yeah. Same, same. Same. And the, the Predator, you have the same thing yeah. going on. And I think the problem is that the group of badasses really has to work. And I think the first one is sort of like a lightning in a bottle kind of thing. Yeah. And it's really, really, really hard to replicate. Yeah. I think that, I, I think I've been thinking about this quite a bit. Um, one of the reasons the original worked, I think, was that it's the underlying thing that's in, interesting about the first Predator is the is the undercutting of eighties macho culture. Yeah, it's it 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 combines this group of people who don't really look like people anymore because said they're so pumped up mm. with with uh, steroids and their their background I mean yeah, like they have never taken they have never taken it's steroids. Pure yeah organic yeah, yeah I forgot <laughs> I forgot about that but but for example um, Schwarzenegger came into the predator after doing like Conan the Barbarian mm. and Commando yeah and they said that this, the screenwriters, when they first met Arnold, and mm. they said that, for example, in Commando, in the beginning, when, he, when they first introduce John Matrix, <laughs> he's carrying a log over his shoulder. So it's a, a kind of a Paul Bunyan reference, mm. you know, the, yeah, the yeah, American yeah. super, super uh, <laughs> wood chopper. <laughs> Uh, and from the first image that you see him, you know that nothing's really going to happen to mm. him. That he's going to kick ass mm. and he's going to lay waste to anything that comes in his way. You sort of immediately know that mm. this is a guy who won't get hurt. And, he, and they said that they want to do Predator in a way where, where the character actually is able to get hurt. Mm. And if you look at Schwarzenegger in the final shot yeah, of the Predator I was movie... About, yeah. He's fucking having PTSD. Basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he's completely sort of destroyed, yeah. and and that's not an image that you see in a lot of Schwarzenegger no. movies. In the end, that 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 he's actually sort of shell shocked, mm. um, and uh, and and I think that that was one of the things that all I don't know wh whether it was it partly it was probably the, the design of the uh, of the screenwriters and the design of John McTiernan as director but mm. uh, uh, I don't know if the guys the the actors in the movies realized how much the film itself was making fun of mm. what they were yeah. as civilians like Sonny Landham was a bodybuilder Carl mm. Weathers was a bodybuilder who he actually claimed that he doesn't work out at all, mm. that really? his, his physique was given to him by God. And cool. during, even during <laughs> the first Predator movie, he apparently worked out during the nights so that the other people wouldn't know that it were, they were working out. And Jesse Ventura and Schwarzenegger were just com constantly sort of pumping iron mm. and, and comparing biceps and, no. and stuff like that. So in... That I think was the winning formula that you had this, you had this group of guys who were sort of supermen mm. in their own right, and the movie sort of completely makes fun of them, but they all are playing it fairly straight. Mm. I mean, all of the move, all of the guys in the movies, they actually do make jokes mm. and they have this macho thing going on and so on and so on. They make jokes, but the jokes are. They're, first of all, they're quite bad jokes. Mm. They're sort of Schwarzenegger staples, like mm. stick around yeah. and, and let off some steam mm. and, and stuff like that. But 
in the end, none of that macho thing that they were sort of portraying, all of that sort of really destroyed in the movie no. and that makes it interesting none of that's happened in the in the sequels that's there's true. always a group there's just a group mm. and the group are trying to sort of survive mm. with the predator but there isn't that deeper critique of toxic yeah, masculinity yeah, yeah 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 that is actually a really good point because um and then you have to wonder that how can you because um if the first Predator movie works so well because of that sort of like a underlying dynamic. How could you replicate it? Yeah, it's. Uh, I and mean, I, and they have tried to replicate it, but the very just the basic surface level, because in the second there are these super cops working at the baddest neighborhood in town, and in the third there are psychopaths, killers, and in this fourth one they're just. Uh, well, they're basically, basically outcasts. Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, it is. I, I think that they they maybe maybe they've tried. Maybe not. In the new one, I think Holbrook, when he was asked about it, he said that in the original one, it was such a it was such a caricature world mm. anyway. And in this new one, they're trying to. I think he said, root it in reality. That's always a bad Which, idea. Yeah, yeah, with something like The Predator, that's always a bad idea. Yeah. In, with the Alien franchise, I think they're doing the same thing, but they're trying to root it in a, in a functioning mythology. Mm. And that doesn't work either. And, yeah. I mean, it's, it's always this over-explanation that American movies tend to... I, I think it's, it, that's probably the reason why the first installments work so well because you don't have that weight of that backstory no. that you have to, have to sort of try to explain. <laughs>